Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com and it's house renovation time. Today I'm going to be working on this exterior GFCI. It's in a very, very dangerous condition. It doesn't have a cover on it. It's loose. This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this repair. This is my Klein NCVT5 voltage tester and it does uh, low voltage as well as house voltage so this is a good one to use on something like this okay it is showing voltage I'm gonna go to the main panel okay I turned off the circuit breaker so this shouldn't have any voltage in it uh, we're gonna be real careful though so I'm gonna go ahead and start dismantling this So you want to test this very carefully and make sure that the electricity is off, and it is. This is called an old work box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up, right, this screw right here up. And okay, there it comes. All right, I'm gonna take this out. All right, that's off. We got no stud that way. We got no stud that way. We got no stud that way. Oh boy, I got no studs. I was hoping to be able to use a box like this. Uh, if there was a stud, but there's no stud on either side. So I'm going to use a, a, another old work box. I'll try to just do a, a better connection than they had uh, previously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all three wires of the Romex cable through this box right here. The way these old work boxes work is that you put it in your hole and as you tighten this screw up this wing will come up and will catch on the back side uh, of the opening right here and down here there's two of them there's one up here there's one down here and so when you theoretically anyway when you tighten this screw up it's going to uh, tighten onto here and here of course this is a, a real world situation where you're you know it's stucco and it's it's not 100% uh, guarantee it's going to catch so I've got the screws let out the whole way because the stucco is pretty thick and uh, we'll just do the best we can do so I'll get the wire in here okay so the wings got to be pressed together you push this in like that It turns out that this new box is a little bigger than the old box. So I've made marks here and down here where I'm gonna to have to chisel away a little, a little more of the plaster so that the box fits. You don't want the hole to be any bigger than necessary. We're already too big on both sides. I might put a little, uh, little patching, concrete patching in there. Uh, but I, I have to chisel off some there and there. I'll give that a try. Okay. Let's see how that fits. Okay. Make sure this is plumb. It's not really. That's pretty good. So now I'm going to tighten up these wings and hopefully they'll catch on the back side of the stucco. Okay, 
So that's pretty strong. Uh, I'm gonna get a little concrete mix though, put it right in here and here. That should make it that should make it stronger. Okay, I've got a little stucco patch here. I'll probably have to do a little paint touch up, but that's okay because this is gonna make this is gonna make the whole thing better. Okay, I'm back from lunch and the stucco is set up pretty well around my old work box here. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a weather resistant 20 amp receptacle because this it turns out that this is on a 20 amp circuit. So I'll use a 20 amp receptacle. And uh, the idea of using a 20 amp receptacle is they're more heavy duty from this part to this part. Okay, the, the part in the back is 20 amp pass through, whether it's 15 amp or 20 amp. But this part is more heavy duty. So it's better if you're going to be using skill saws or anything heavy like that, or or two items that add up to quite a bit of amperage. If you have a 20 amp circuit and 12 gauge wire, you can use a 20 amp receptacle. Uh, if this is a 15 amp circuit with 14 gauge wire, you're not allowed to use the 20 amp receptacle. But in my case, I can. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ground wire into the ground area right here. I'll tighten that ground screw down real well. The neutral, see these are uh, the system here where you just put it in the hole and tighten it down. You don't have to go around the terminal. You, just, you can if you want. Some people prefer to go around the terminal. It's okay. You can do it that way. All right, tighten down real nicely. That goes in right there. Tighten that down securely. Now I'm gonna take some electrician's tape and people ask me, uh, what kind of electrician tape do I think is best? And this is a real good kind right here. This is the new Ideal. You can see that Ideal electrician's tape. It's it's really nice. I also like the 3M, uh, the higher the higher grade 3M products. But there we go. So I'll push this right in here. This is a Leviton extra duty cover, exterior cover. You see it's got a foam backing here, but this is kind of a rough texture. So I think I'll be putting some silicone sealant around this in addition to this foam. Now you have to take the screws out of the receptacle and put them through here on, on this particular model. Some of these you just back the screws out some and they got a slick system where you just slide it on but not this particular model. So just push that in there and I'll, I'll hook it on. But first, put some silicone seal on here. So now I'm gonna put this screw right through here into the hole. Tighten it on. So I'm using both the the foam sealant and some silicone sealant. I don't want any water getting in there. And it'll help it hold it better. I don't want this thing moving. That's why I bothered to, to plaster around it and so forth. I would have been much more comfortable if I could have uh, screwed my box right onto a stud. That would have been much preferable. Okay. All right. Okay, so here we go. That looks pretty good. 
And it feels nice and solid. So I don't think it's going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the circuit breaker. Okay, circuit breaker's on. Push reset. There's two green lights. It's daylight out here, so it's hard to see. But there's two green lights right there. Two green lights right there. So now we have a good solid installation of an exterior 20 amp GFCI. This is called a while in use box because there's two holes down here for extension cords. So you can just open it up like that. And say you just want to have one extension cord just put it through one of the holes and then they give you uh, two pieces of plastic that you put over the unused hole if you want. Just slide it right in like that. There you go. So if you don't want to use either one of the holes then you could use both of these pieces of plastic to block up the holes. There's a locking area right here. I'll put links in my video description for the Leviton 20 amp weather resistant GFCI receptacle and for the Leviton 15 amp weather resistant GFCI receptacle. I'll also put links for the Leviton in use extra duty exterior cover, the Taymac in use extra duty exterior cover, the seal proof in use extra duty exterior cover and I'll put links for all the tools seen in my video Sparky channels favorite electrical tools house renovation edition thanks I hope this video was helpful sure the kitchen needs a little work sure there's a bunch of junk all over the place Sure, the window treatments are shot. You can do it! Thanks for watching.